Combining the capabilities of the Devo Data Analytics Platform and Demisto Enterprise, security teams can increase visibility and shorten investigation and incident response times by bringing together Devo's real-time, context-rich security insights and Demisto's security task orchestration and automation. In this video, you will see how you can automate incident response and in real time stop an attacker in their tracks. In this scenario, the Devo platform collects data from a victim's endpoint using a combination of endpoint detection and response software as well as native logging from the host and also integrates with the Demisto security orchestration automation and response platform to carry out an automated response on the victim's machine. What you see on the screen are two machines. The one on the left is the attacker's machine, and the one on the right is the victim. To start off, the attacker launches an advanced port scanning tool to go out and scan the internet for well-known TCP ports to look and see if there are any potential ports that are active for remote access. And we see in the results pane that on the victim's web server that port 80 is open, as is the port for RDP. The attacker uses the open RDP port to try and attain remote access to the victim's machine. First, they launch an RDP session and see if any of the common passwords in their password library will allow them to gain access. None of the passwords work, so the attacker now tries a different approach by using a remote access tool called PSExec. Trying another password, they are able to successfully gain remote access. Next, the attacker launches the Mimikatz application, which is a tool that can be utilized to dump user accounts and passwords on the victim's machine. After successfully escalating their privileges, the attacker runs the command to dump all the administrative passwords on this device. Over on the victim's machine, you can see in the task manager that the PSExec process is running, as is the Mimikatz process. But from the victim's perspective, unless they are constantly watching the task manager, this is completely transparent to them. Now that the attacker has completed the password dump, they launch a stage one attack. This tool looks for additional local ports that are open to enable lateral movement as well as determines if there are any potential files available for encryption and deletion. As you can see, this process is now running on the victim's machine. The attacker then runs additional commands to escalate privileges on this machine. They first look for information regarding user accounts, what other machines are visible on the network, and what map network devices there are. Then they run a command to add a new user account called Your Box is Mine to this local machine. And once that is done, they escalate the new account's privileges by adding it to the administrator's group. The attacker has now successfully enabled full administrative access on the victim's machine. However, in the middle of this attack, the automated incident response runs and the attacker's tools are automatically terminated. The attacker was just stopped in their tracks. Looking at the victim's machine, we can see that there is still RDP access. However, as part of the automated incident response, the machine is quickly isolated from the network and now there is no longer any access possible to the victim's machine or any other devices in this network through this connection. So what made this rapid response possible? Let's switch over and look at what was happening behind the scenes with Devo and Demisto. During the attack, Devo was collecting all the data being generated by the endpoint detection and response solution installed on the victim's machine. The advanced analytics capabilities of Devo allow security analysts to quickly visualize this data and understand what's happening during the attack that just played out. What we're looking at here is a Devo Active Board that in real time displays key insights. Devo Active Boards are completely customizable and this Active Board is designed to track incidents. In one of the widgets, you can see all the alerts that were fired within the Devo platform, including detecting a new user account being created, multiple failed password attempts detected, 
port scanning observed, remote shell execution monitored and detected, Mimi cats detected, and reconnaissance activities detected. Every malicious activity that the attacker carried out was detected and alerted on within Devo. In total, there were 21 different detection types observed. Additionally, an analyst can quickly observe the port scanning activity that was detected, the multiple logon failures from the attacker during their reconnaissance. Then, once the attacker did get in, the PS exec service creation was logged. Every action the attacker completed was logged by Devo, which in turn allows Devo to, in real time, fire alerts that then inform Demisto to carry out the appropriate automated incident response. Pivoting over to Demisto, you can see the incident that was created after Devo detected Mimikatz running on the victim's machine. Looking further into the incident, you can see all the information that Demisto queried Devo for, including when this was first seen and when it was last seen. Clicking on the work plan, you can see the playbook and each action that was carried out during the automated incident response. Checking on the evidence board, you can see the information that was automatically queried and retrieved from Devo as part of this investigation and is now available for access within Demisto. In this case, login history and command history was collected. This is really the power of the Devo Demisto solution. You do not have to go into multiple tools or UIs, nor do you have to manually respond to an incident. It's all tightly integrated and fully automated. Going back to the summary view, there are still some pending manual actions required before the incident can be closed. I'm going to mark these as completed, and the incident is now closed. So how exactly did Demisto know which processes to kill on the victim's machine? The full process history was being saved to Devo and in real time the process ID of the known bad process was sent to Demisto and the automated workflows in the playbook killed the malicious processes immediately on the victim's machine as you saw. Devo also reports on the playbook activities that were completed in Demisto and as you can see in this widget, Demisto killed the two malicious process IDs and isolated the endpoint. This ensured that no more activity could be carried out by the attacker on the victim's machine, preventing further damage from occurring. In summary, the integration between the Devo Data Analytics Platform and Demisto Enterprise allows you to completely automate your detections, your determinations, your incident response, and to be able to visualize the entire attack from a centralized dashboard. To learn more about Devo, visit devo.com. Thanks for watching.